Foreign nationals, especially those residing in developing nations, may find themselves smack in the middle of occurrences which goes against their personal concept or definition of human rights and freedoms. They may feel that they should openly express their opinions. However, openly expressing their opinions in public may present some uncalculated risks. Welcome to Four C's One Family. It is hard to ignore recent events that are taking place in various parts of the world that directly affects the freedoms and well-being of the people subjugated under particular social and political systems that prevent them from living the life they choose or dream of. Many nations around the world are experiencing growing pains concerning the rights and privileges of its people. These concerns cover a wide range of issues from environmental, political, religious, LGBT, animal and human rights. And the citizens are, of these nations are expressing their opinions about their situation and are looking for ways to further improve their socioeconomic condition. And sometimes people in these nations look for examples and encouragement from overseas to help further refine their approach to their current situation. Now, there are foreign nationals who feel that they are morally obligated to help propose policies or advocate for rights they themselves may not even possess in their own home nation on the people of a country they aren't a citizen of. Now, remember that there is a big difference between taking part in local cultural events and national or civil matters of a host nation. Sometimes foreign nationals may find themselves being questioned or asked for advice about how similar situations in their home nation are or were dealt with. Now, here are a few questions that I would like to ask my fellow foreign nationals who are currently living abroad. Now, let's be clear that I'm directing this question primarily at foreign nationals who don't have citizenship in their host nation. Maybe residency, but not citizenship. Now, even though a foreign national may have residential privileges and be married to a local citizen, maybe even raising a children in his or her host nation, a foreign national may feel that he or she has successfully been immersed in and developed a thorough understanding of his or her host nation to the point of saying that he or she deeply cares about it. This is emotional. A foreign national may proclaim that he or she would be willing to do anything that could help his or her host nation further develop and flourish. Now, keep in mind that the government of a foreign national's adopted nation has the right to simply limit or deport any foreign national for attempting to take part in events or take actions that it feels could negatively influence regional or national policies. That's a simple fact. In some conservative nations, foreign nationals are even prohibited from taking part in many local social events. Now, remember that foreign nationals do not have any voting privileges or right to influence local or national policies or elections of their host nation. So in other words, a foreign national's opinions or involvement will most likely not have any significant influence or impact on a host nation's local or national policies. In fact, a foreign national's involvement could create unforeseen problems. And the truth is, a foreign national is simply just an outside observer, and in some places may even be seen as a threat. There are many social and political issues a foreign national may be willing to make a passionate public statement about. Foreign nationals must be aware that many nations do not think kindly of foreign nationals who are propagating their opinions, especially in public arenas or forums, or maybe even online forums. The fact is, especially in nations that were once under colonial control, foreign nationals are not trusted to the point of being labeled anything from oppressor to opportunist. The reasons an outside government would want to do so are far and wide and beyond the scope of this discussion. 
So to protect themselves from an outside government's control, most national constitutions exclusively have sections or provisions that directly prohibit any foreign national from taking part in influencing or interfering in any way civil matters. All nations retain the right to expel any foreign national deemed as disrupting the social, civil, or political affairs of their country. Also, many national constitutions make it a clear point that in legal disputes between a foreign national and a citizen of their nation, any decision made must place their citizens' rights over foreign nationals at all levels in any litigation. So, if you are a foreign national in a nation that allots this right to its citizens, you may honestly find yourself on the losing end of a disagreement with your local employer, landlord, or even girlfriend, boyfriend, or spouse. And I'm talking about things ranging from payments to uh, rentals, uh, divorce, uh, 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 child care, property ownership, the list goes on. So if you are a foreign national facing legal issues, you simply may not be given the protection of a legalized citizen. And in this case, if any legal awards are given, it shouldn't be a surprise that as a foreign national, you don't get what may be considered a fair deal. Now on a personal level, a foreign national may never be fully integrated or accepted into all parts of a host nation. There will always be a far side of a host nation's culture or ways of doing things that a foreign national may never be allowed to reach. And this is something that may just have to be accepted. The reason for this may frankly be the way a foreign national converses with citizens, the habits they display, or simply the way a particular foreign national looks. Local citizens aren't under any obligation to completely accept a foreign national as one of their own. The only thing a foreign national can do as a human being is to strengthen the personal relationships he or she has built with the people in their host nation. Now, on the surface, this may sound unfair, but ask yourself, as a citizen of your nation, whether by passport or birth, how would you react if someone from a foreign nation expressed an opinion about your country that directly affected your personal civil rights in your home nation? Would you be concerned that someone from another nation got actively involved in the political events of your nation? Would you mind another nation supplying funds to support opposition in your country? Now, these are serious and sensitive questions that foreign nationals themselves must be aware of before getting involved in sensitive civil issues and debates while living overseas. There are many situations where a foreign national may find him or herself being accused of getting involved in local, civil, or political matters. Now, it's true that foreign nationals do let their opinions be known in private gatherings, and this is, for the most part, okay if it's kept within the confines of a small trusted group. However, for example, if a foreign national teaching in a local remedial or university expresses personal opinions which expresses negative viewpoints or attacks local institutions, he or she could be subjected to violations of contractual provisions that prevents foreigners, foreign nationals, from raising opinions on such topics. Local officials could label a foreign national fitting this description as an outside meddler which may not only make the foreign national a target for deportation and public ridicule, but also place the foreign national in jail and, in some cases, physical danger. Now, I am just trying to bring this out into the open for further discussion, respectful discussion, not debate. Every country has the right to develop their own rules for formulating a foundation for their citizens to agree on without outside intervention, meddling or interference. A foreign national in his or her host nation is much like a guest in someone's home. And just like a guest in someone's home, a foreign national must remember that they themselves chose to become a guest 
and wasn't forced to become one. Unless asked for opinions from their hosts, a foreign national doesn't have the right or privilege to even, or even the obligation to express their views on the things they see as unwelcoming or negative about their host nation. However, I do believe as a member of the human race, there may be times when a foreign national cannot just watch and silently accept the destruction of universally accepted moral principles and human rights. In case a foreign national decides to present a public opinion on a sensitive issue within the borders of their host nation, he or she must be aware of the possible unpleasant results of such actions. The foreign national must be willing to face the consequences and fully understand the possible outcomes. If a foreign national isn't able to accept the culture, social, or political system of the nation he or she resides in, he or she must understand that he or she isn't a citizen and should try to respectfully follow the rules and regulations of the residing nation. Foreign nationals finding themselves being detained for making public their opinions would just make the situation worse for not only themselves, but also for the local citizens who had previous contact with them. So if a foreign national feels that he or she is unable to accept local rules and regulations, it is respectfully advised that he or she removes themselves from the location, go elsewhere, and fight for local changes from abroad. So once again, my question for you as a foreign national, do you feel it is your obligation or responsibility or even your right to get involved in issues that could potentially or adversely affect the people of your host nation? How would you react if someone from a foreign nation expressed an opinion about your country that directly affected your personal civil rights in your home nation? Would you be concerned that someone from another nation got actively involved in the local politics of your nation? And would you mind if another nation supplies funding for opposition in your country? And finally, would you be willing to risk being jailed or deported from your host nation because of your opinions or actions related to issues in your host nation? Please leave a comment below if you have anything you would like to say or share concerning this topic. And if you found what we have to offer of any value, please click on the subscribe and bell buttons below to help us spread the word that we have a lot more in common than we think. We're very interested to hearing what you have to say. For Four Seas One Family from Taipei, Taiwan, I'm James Thomas. And remember to take care wherever you are.